Hi, I'm John Ken Knight. I manage the custom framing department here at Sam Flax in Orlando, and today we'll be taking you through the custom framing experience. Today we'll be framing a watercolor. Uh, we have a uh, harbor scene. There's a few different ways to frame this. Here at Sam Flax, we probably have over 3,000 samples on the wall of frames and several hundred matte choices. So my job as uh, one of the designers here is to sort of guide you through the process, ask you a series of questions, and offer advice. Once I get an idea of what type of style you have in your home and what you like for your artwork, I will always try to come up with two different designs, sometimes three or four, that I think you'll like. Then we can move the designs to different corners of the artwork to show you how the colors work in those areas of the piece. So as I mentioned earlier, we'll be framing a watercolor today. And I want to be careful with the selections that I make. I don't want to choose anything that's too bold or too bright because with this particular watercolor, these tans and antique whites and eggshells and blues are muted. So for our cooler design, we're starting with an antique silver fillet. This is a fillet. It's a perfect complement to the frame. This fillet, if you look closely, is slightly more roughed up and antiqued than the frame. Next to that, this is a majestic blue silken finished fabric mat. And it's not a perfect match, and I didn't want a perfect match. Um, there, there are 50 different shades of blue in this piece. So I chose one that would bring out the blue that we wanted. And sandwiched in between the two outer mats is an antique pewter. This is a specialty mat, and our main mat, or what we'll call our top mat, this is a tight weave linen. I use a lot of fabric mats and specialty mats in the design um, because of the added texture. When a piece is hung on the wall and the light bounces off the texture of the linen, it adds a point of interest to your work, which is what you want. For our frame, both of these frames and designs, I wanted something traditional. I wanted a traditional profile, something that you would find around the turn of the century. Um, so this is our cool color design. So we're moving on to the warm design. I love the cool gray. This is a different type of a blue gray than in the cool design. This one is picking up more of the clouds and the side of the building. Right next to that we have another fillet. This is a hand gilded fillet. It shares the same sort of antique gold that the frame has on its inset, but the design does not match perfectly. As framers, we really try to switch it up and make each design truly unique. I love this silken finished top mat, and I think between the blue and the sort of walnut color of the frame, I think that's a beautiful compliment. So what I've shown you today, I hope gives you a little bit of a glimpse into the sort of experience you can expect in the framing department here at Sam Flax. We put a lot of care and attention into hiring professionals to help you through the process of custom framing. And I look forward to seeing you in the frame shop.